uh, Patrick from One Life Journey. It's uh, May 1st, I believe it's Wednesday. And um, let me show you what I'm working on today. So these are the passenger rear, um, driver and passenger rear window covers that I made out of Reflectex. And basically what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to cover one side of them so that it looks like it's just heavily tinted instead of reflective window covering which is really really obvious when you put it in the window what it is. Um, so what I did, I went to my favorite Walmart and picked up some of the cheapest black fabric I could find that was also some of the thickest I could find for a dollar a yard. I got two yards of it and I'm just going to test it out right now. Because um, if it doesn't work, I'm not going to bother doing the rest of them, and I'm actually probably going to have to cut a new one because I will have covered it with spray glue. Um, I got some spray glue that says it will work for fabric, so I hope it doesn't soak through too bad anyway. Um, so we're going to test it out. Um, this was the most expensive part. This was $7. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to have to test it out and see how it goes but what I'm hoping to be left with is um, one of these with one side that is reflective and the other side that is black and that way I can choose whether I want reflective if it's really sunny outside so I can reflect the sun or black if I want to urban camp and um, not have anyone to be able to see in my windows so that's the thought. Um, let me get to uh, tracing and trimming, and uh, I'll get back with you. All right, so uh, now really the only thing I'm going to do is trace it out, or actually cut it out, leave about an inch or so around the outside, um, and then I can start gluing. And just like that, got it all, uh, got it all cut out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be putting the fabric on this side so I'm going to uh, flip it over here or put it on the other side and uh, start getting this thing all covered in spray glue and uh, stick it and see how it is um, hoping it doesn't soak through too much but we'll see what happens holy crap does this stuff stink so I hope it airs out before um, before I start to use it um, but here's what I did I uh, took it outside and I just kind of sprayed it evenly, got an even coat on it, laid the um, fabric piece down on the floor and just stuck this to it. So this is what I'm left with. As you can see, it's kind of conforming to the Reflectix, which is okay. It's not soaking through, I, I wasn't sure if it was going to kind of appear wet or you know bleed through the fabric or something like that and it doesn't appear to be doing that which is good so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim the edges and uh, and glue them down and um, I'll show you what I'm done all right so this is what I'm left with um, yes I know I didn't do the greatest trimming job in the world but you know after you pull it up and stretch it over the side it's gonna kind of not look so even in places and there's a couple of corners I needed to trim off I think I'm gonna do them try to figure that out like cut up the corner so I have a nice um, I don't have this flap here next time um, but yeah this is what I'm left with it's gonna dry of course there's spray glue on the back there's overspray here it's still a little tacky so that's gonna have to dry um, so the real test is gonna be to see whether or not it stinks <laughs> because this spray glue smells terrible so uh, I'm just gonna have to leave this out to dry and uh, we'll see what happens but I've got one more to do um, and this was just a, since this was just a test I bought enough fabric for uh, for the two passenger rear windows and that's it for now um, so if this works I will buy enough for the uh, two pop-out windows and the rear window so let me get back here and I'm going to do one more today and um, alright so it's interesting I, uh, I got two yards and I thought a yard was supposed to be around three feet by three feet but I guess not 
Um, I was able to do the two large rear passenger windows and I'm, I have enough left over to do the rear window. So the only thing I have left are the two small uh, pop out windows. So I'm going to have to get another yard for a dollar. Uh, but that's kind of interesting. Um, but whatever. I'd rather get it done now while I have the fabric and the, and the glue here already. So I'm, uh, I'm going to trace this out and uh, spray it up. I got the two done here and they're drying and damn they stink. I can come down the stairs here to the basement and I can definitely smell the glue. So I'm really hoping that the smell dissipates. If not, I may have, uh, may have made a little boo-boo here. I may have to go buy more or find more Reflectex and make more panels. So I really hope this smell dissipates. So of course, I'll keep you updated as always. But for now, back to the rear window. All right, well, hey, guys. It is now a day later. It's Thursday, and I got some more fabric. So I'm back here again, um, finishing things up. So I got, I ended up doing on that one piece of the two yard um, piece of fabric I got, I was able to do the back window and both side windows. That one's just flipped around backwards. Um, it was, it had me concerned because these things are really smelly and I can still smell it a little bit if I put my nose up closer to it. So I'm hoping that these things will uh, air out a little bit more uh, before I'm able to permanently keep them in the vehicle because as, as they are now, they will stink everything up. Uh, so I got some more fabric. I only got a yard this time because I only have the two rear windows to do, which are fairly small here. So uh, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to lay, lay this stuff out and um, get to put the cloth, put, get to putting the fabric on these things. seep through here on this fabric. I'm hoping they'll dry out. I guess I coated it too heavily here. So again, I hope that that'll dry out. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and spray some glue around the edges here and then come back and fold the edges over. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I got glue on these three edges here. I'm just going to take it and stretch it and stick it on. And I don't really care how it looks in the back. And I'll just take this corner here and try to trim it. I think it is. Um, so yeah, so that's how I did it. So I got one more piece to do over here. 
and I'll uh, show you the completed pieces when I'm done. Okay, so I've got uh, the two panels finished up here. And they're drying, nice and sticky, as the other ones were yesterday. And uh, I'm just going to let them dry overnight. Uh, the stink went down dramatically in the first day. Uh, right now, the entire basement smells, and I'm pretty sure I'm high off the fumes. It's really, really bad. Um, I even sprayed this stuff outdoors, and it was it smelled horrendous. I had to cover my face, and I still smelled it. And, ugh. So anyway, let me um, let me take you outside. And these are better. They're dry. They're you know, pretty dry. They still smell a little bit, <clears throat> but I uh, I should be able to at least give you a demonstration of why I covered uh, the Reflectix and uh, black fabric. So let me take you outside and show you what I got. All right, so here we are out in the van, and you can see this is what it looked like before. I've got the uh, window panel flipped around backwards, and you can clearly see that it's visible. It's reflecting on the light. Uh, the problem with this is it's not so stealthy, and pretty much anybody can tell that um, there's someone trying to hide something inside or there's someone inside. Um, <clears throat> let me take it to the other side. Now it's on the shady side of the car. Hello. You can see, I don't know, or you can't see. Can't see anything. It just looks like a dark tinted window, which is excellent. Let me flip the other uh, side around that I just showed you, and uh, that way you can get a good comparison in the sun. Uh, so give me one second here. Okay, so here's that same side in the sun with the panel flipped around onto the black side. So it's kind of interesting because I can have the panel one way and reflect the light, um, great for if I'm going to be in a hot desert or something like that, and I can have the panel the black way, black side, if I'm going to be uh, urban camping or something like that. And you can kind of see, I don't know, you can barely see the seam in there in the direct sunlight. But overall, not too bad. In the nighttime, you won't be able to tell. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then in the back, you have to look pretty close to see uh, to see anything through through the window. So here's what the panel looks like from the inside. And this one here. kind of tucked in there. It's just holding in there by pressure. Uh, I don't really have anything else holding it in. Um, but yeah. So um, overall I'm pretty happy with these panels, the way they're turning out. Um, I did this instead of having drapes that I mounted because I didn't want to make any permanent holes up here. I could if I wanted to. I thought about using um, command strips. Yeah, these things. So I was going to use some command strips, some of the heavier duty ones, to run a cable all the way across and then hang some drapes from it. And that's still an option, but uh, they wouldn't cover as well, and from the outside you could definitely tell that they were, you know, if, if they're all ruffled up like this, you could look through the window and tell that they're curtains. With this up here, um, directly against the window, you can't tell if the windows are heavily tinted or uh, what's going on. So I really like this option better. The only thing I don't like about it is the storage. I'm going to have to, you know, find some place under the seat to store them, or maybe in the, in the rooftop box. So that's kind of a pain in the ass. And it does take a little bit longer to get these things in and fitted properly. Um, but I think when I'm done, you know, as far as urban camping goes, uh, this looks like it's going to be the best thing, um, best thing to block out the windows. So, like I said, I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. Um, I'm going to test them out for a little bit. Uh, I've been trying to sleep in the van when it's warmer. Actually, it has been pretty warm. Um, I spent Monday night, Monday night in the van. Uh, I'll probably spend tonight in the van. I think it's going to be like 48 degrees tonight, which is pretty good. It's like fall camping. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, been just been trying to do some urban camping wherever I can. Sometimes it's out here in front of my house. Uh, sometimes it's at Walmart. Just trying to get used to, uh, to the van life. Um, so slowly trying to release myself from the grips of uh, everyday life and normal society. 
Uh, but anyways, so that was uh, the, my two-day project. Uh, I may give you a little update video later and show you how it's working and if the fabric's going to come undone or what's going to happen. But uh, for now, thanks for watching.